Onivia, League of Legends highlights. So not that champion that like just ends the game through split push, uh, such as as we've seen through some of the other ones. Ooh. But it's going to be Trindamir. Very interesting. I, I do think that this is a tough matchup early on. You know, you're going to get later into a good position in the early stages, which is really where he needs to be because this lane gets hard later on. Oh, Jose on the wraparound. This is probably going to be kill Meganar or not. It's a flashless Nar. Hecarim is here. He can throw him back in. Well timed stun. Still has the uh, the, the knockback though. That'll be enough. Can they give it over? They do. First blood into Kumo. Attention in the volatile top lane. Trinity ulti and Hecarim multi because Trundle is cross mapping right now. He's on the other side of the map, so he has to base. It uh -oh. does mean he's probably going to lose away, but they're trying to die bot side. Uh, Glacial's on the step back. They're slowed down. Who he's going to flash out of turret range? No problem there. Next up is close. So he will die to the tower. No, he drops the range there as well. A clean 3v2 dive. No. Nope. We got enough done in the mid lane that this is going to be second, or sorry, the first dragon. Notice that this ward is not actually turned off. We'll be back in time, in plenty of time, I should say, for the next dragon spawn. So we'll see if Flygook is number two. Afro going to be tanking a pillar. Ultimately going to be fine. The early slow was nerfed a while back. Not a big threat there. As Kumo lanes the slow, so he's going to go forward. Decent damage here. Is it going to be enough is the question. Someday, Hasmeganar does not blow the ult. He wants to hold it. I believe the cooldown's short enough that he would still have it in time for the dragon fight. Regardless, that's going to be a stun. A lantern, a flash forwards. A lantern, is it going to be enough? It is not. The lockdown is there. Build path. Hunter Thieves indeed have control. And the second dragon is going to go one to one, tying up that score. As Kumo tries to fight, right, he is the one winning part of the map and it doesn't get a lot done. No, not really able to get too much done. Someday Mega's out there and it's tough to actually win that scrap. Abadaga, though, has oh, the package. That's killable. That is absolutely killable. Lanes of Smite, second Valkyrie not going to matter. Good early damage comes in. You can... ...in the mix because you're trying to dodge all of these additional things. No. Everyone moving up here now, though. Closer has the inside track. He can actually Smite steal this. Smite kill and it's knocked down at the wrong timing. It's going to be lost to FlyQuest, well smited by a closer. FBI grabs the Herald, and this is going to be enough damage. Who he dives in, this should be a kill. Jose Yoto is down, Stopwatch burn now as well. Closer also stays alive, but Kumo's in the mix. Stopwatch buys some time. Is it enough though? Who he getting lower and lower, finds one kill, looks for the Lantern, and gets out, but the chase is on. Two more kills come through. Abadaga closes out the fight. The double over the wall, and who he gets hit by the cage, but it's not really enough to quite finish him off. Buy some time there with Kumo, and now again, back to that boss side, they're looking for a dive, he has no all. Will be down, summoner's down, no way out, Kumo drops, someday gets revenge. 300 gold to him. It's gonna be a uh, percentage black Morgan. fight. Yeah, and that's gonna be bot lane turret dying now as well, so 100 thieves that's turning two. the corner. That is 5,000 gold, it's gonna be 6,000 gold soon. This turret is always dead, FBI just getting rid of some charges. Your AD hang around, so at the very least, he's just gonna stay in the brush. He's backing up now. Um, and here comes Jose, so good thing he did stay around after yeah. protecting yeah. two levels because he's been getting pressured and missing XP and not optimizing farm as much as he would like to because yeah. of the state of the game. So I just don't think he wins side anymore, so they're going to look for a fight. Nice he's cage. Gonna the cage is going to hit the back line. That's just going to be a deletion. Mini Nar has no MR and gets basically solo a formality. It should be an objective bounty. Of course, the kill on Sunday valuable as well. It would be a miracle steal. Rockets land in Fog of War. 700 gold more than Reaver, but it's so the much The big ability. thing is just the, the mobility, right? You know, the, the ability to actually reset. Oh, no, he, did, he needed to take that. Yeah, he didn't want to get... Uh, he didn't want to get pillared out of it, which right. I get. But but if you're going to have to flash from running down, then you want to take it, see it, make him make, play make it. him make the play, right? If Then if he makes it, then you have to flash. But now Kumo going in. Oh, my and God! just deletes Corky. Ulti's on. How good's the dive going to be? They trade him back, but the rocket lands on Really Trundle, good. And there's nothing for Leona to do. Solo kills... Abadaga and FlyQuest, it is time to believe! Super dangerous. It's just someday poking away here by himself. FBI is coming oh. over now, but I see no Miracle. way they can get this. Miracle Steel doesn't find it. Yeah. So, you know, this is not a big deal now. 2K is not going to be the difference. It's going to be about execution. And FlyQuest have a super expensive build. So FBI is really, really yeah. strong right now. Ooh, they found a slow. They're going to find a knockback. Maybe a fear as well. Played in. Just deleted. That will not save you. A hook on a Huhi. Should make it easy as well. But he's got a flash. He's got an ulti. And he gets away, burning some major cooldowns. But FlyQuest salutes to you. Major cooldowns are not enough. You are generally winning this game. Looking forward Kumo. now with the next stun. They're going to walk back in time. Kumo does indeed come down. 
No play to be had, level fitness. Will they even have Kumo come up, or will they have him solo the dragon? I think they're gonna do that play. Gets the one, one four split, but he's oh, now moving that up. That's a huge hook of flaying onto the Chompers. He gets the stop block, but he could be deleted. Johnson times it perfectly, and now they can play. They dive on in. Is this the smite? Does he get the Baron? The team for Huhi, 1100, claimed by Closer. But Kumo's in the front line. He's here for a bit more. They find kill number two, a stopwatch for FBI. Jump over the wall. Staying alive, Recall's coming in to play back in, and that's gonna be three unanswered kills. A Baron for three kills is equal gold, but the map now belongs to the Flying. game, I think, specifically with the Cloud Soul, because you're getting amp damage with that uh, ultimate, you know, being throwing him in there, getting the moves. They're willing to fully commit to it. I think they'd have to go immediately, but it's gonna be so hard to do in, in Corky's face. I'm no not package. sure this is gonna work out, but they're just gonna commit to it. There's no Meganar. And Trundle is not there yet, so they're just trying to rush it down. It should always be yours. The smite should always be yours. Getting burned lower and lower. Smiteable grabbed. Is there a team fight? They choose to walk away. GA, they get out a TP. They back it up without having a death, and now they get two free inhibitor towers. That is a well done play. They put so much pressure on bot lane, they force the answer, and the cross map play is taking down turrets. Flag was getting a lot to play Trindamir, but navigating the mid game anyway. Here comes the next turret. Three in a row knocked down. So much done during this Baron buff. And Flag on three dragons. This this one is gonna mean a lot here. 100 Thieves has mid lane control. They're pushing no. up, Jose's looking. Looks like he wants it. Who are you gonna lock him down for a bit there? The stun cage is up and Closer has to flash it away. Who he down very low as well, but good damage at FBI. Oh, Just chunks the back line. That's a GA down. And what can Johnson do except die? Some days in for the slow. They're gonna get the AD carry. And just like that, 100 Thieves flip the switch and the map below. Chunks out that back line and just like that, it's a route for 100 Thieves, you know, pushing. Fly quest. Additional move speed is really valuable. Drops the GA, says actually there's nothing else I can buy. GA doesn't sell very much. Uh, it's a 40% sell back rate. Nice stun, is that enough for after no, not. Flashes in for more, he wants this fight. Is it gonna be enough? The package is good, oh! but GA pops. But Tukui can't get much done, has to flash over the package, finds a double root, but he should die. Nearly one shot's FBI, oh! rocket! Johnson comes back from the grave, and FlyQuest come back from the dead. The fear lands, and everybody is wiped off the map. Do you believe in FlyQuest on the road to five and one, knocking down first place, 100 Thieves? Takoi with such a good play there. It's skeet shooting, knocking Abadaga out of the sky. One shots him on the package, then finds the multi-man Everfrost for the massive amount of damage, setting up for Johnson to come through, cleans him up with the Jinx ulti. That was incredible from Takoi. What a play to finish it. They thought they had the Vagar caught, but he had them caught. He turns it around. What a finish. You can see this.